when you have a strategy for your business, sometimes you can be attracted by the flashing lights, the glamour, the easier route. Whether that's buying comments on Instagram or buying a whole bunch of fake views on YouTube, there's easy paths for success that are tempting. Just like in Las Vegas, there's flashy lights, gambling, jackpots, the one in a million chance of winning. But if you take a step back, you realize that those are just mirages. You see the bigger picture. Let's really think about what we're doing here and figure out a plan that's gonna be good for us next week, but also good for us in 10 years. That's what altitude thinking is all about. Three steps for successful altitude thinking with you and your team. So the first is reverse planning. The second is to avoid shortcuts. And the third is to create an evergreen strategy. <laughs> Looking at the numbers, you're trying to get those sales. Hard to separate yourself from the business, and we've all been there. So that's why our little saying, altitude thinking, can be helpful. It's just take a step back, take a deep breath, and think, is this gonna be effective tomorrow, but also in the long term? So here's a great tip on how to get altitude on your business. Think about your business in reverse. If we get stuck into a much smaller vision and micro details, we're never gonna be able to realize what our biggest vision is. Start at the end, work your way back, create your plan, and then start to execute upon that whole thing until you accomplish your goals. What are your ultimate goals? And then reverse engineer that. Figure out the path that you need to take, the choices that you need to make, the resources and the tools that you need to accomplish that goal. When you think about your ultimate goal in mind, not the minutia and the challenges that you're facing on a day-to-day -day basis, you can make visionary decisions that will help you achieve your goals. The second important thing for altitude thinking is to avoid shortcuts. There are so many different ways to cut corners on the difficult and challenging things that we need to do. Spam people to try to get scale in your marketing efforts. Those tactics don't really work because they're not created for the long game. There's a lot of influencers and gurus and coaches and people actually trying to sell you a service. At the end of the day, it's, it's really not shortcuts and cheat codes and things like that that are gonna get you where you wanna be. It's going to be hard work. There's moments when you're deciding your strategy that will change the course of your business. They're very important moments. Your supply chain drops out, you have to rethink your entire strategy, and you have but a few hours to get with your team and think what to do. How do you pivot to make your business survive? These moments, you need to take a step back. What's the 30,000 foot view of this business strategy? How can I actually make a change that's gonna be not just worthy tomorrow, but worthy in the long run as well? There's so many buzzwords and lingo and business strategies, get rich quick schemes. At the end of the day, what really is potent is your unique ideas. It's being unique. Believe in yourself, take a step back and say, 30 years, if I made this choice, would I be proud of myself or not? The third thing is having evergreen strategies. So you might have heard of evergreen content. This really applies to any strategy in your business. Do something that's good for today, but also for the future. Altitude thinking is about getting perspective. It's about taking a step back about your business to understand really what the vision is and what your goals are and how you can best serve your clients. When you start to think about your business from a high level perspective, you can make better choices because you don't get stuck into the minutia. It's so easy to think about the features of your product and the technology that you're using and the content that you're creating and the nuances of the things that you're doing to convey ideas to people. But the reality is if you have a vision and a path, people will subscribe into that and they'll go on that journey with you. They become forgiving. They want to see you grow and expand and even make mistakes. They're okay being patient, waiting for you to make changes, waiting for you to make upgrades. Altitude thinking is about getting perspective and sharing a larger brand, a larger vision with people because that is what people connect to the most. What is that process? What is that creative process? How do you find your inspiration? And then how do you see it through until completion? Start with an idea of something I want to do or uh, something I would like to look into. Through research and through maybe some like getting, getting my hands on something, it takes a different direction. Start molding a piece of clay and you don't even know what you're making at first. It's kind of like that, but once you actually get your fingers on the clay and you start molding something, then you're like, oh, now I have an idea.
you spend a whole bunch of money to pay an influencer to promote your company tomorrow. A lot of exposure, flash in the bag, you know, you might get that chance to go big. Or do you invest that money into making videos over time, sending videos one-to-one, -one, building up your YouTube channel, actually investing content that you'll have forever? Which would you pick? It might seem tempting to go and just put a whole bunch of money into an influencer. More often than not, it's better to think in the long term, to make that investment that will last a lifetime.